Bismillah Rahman Rahim. I am Dr. Muhammad Mahtab Alam and I am going to explain the random sampling techniques and its various types. So as we have discussed the first types, simple random sample, here we will start from the second one. So second type of simple random sampling is see, random sampling is systematic random sample. Systematic, this is the second type. Second name of probability sample. Systematic random sampling. And the criteria, prerequisite for this, when you can apply this. So there are one criteria for this. This is the criteria. When you have ordinal data only, when you have ordinal data only, then you can apply systematic sample. And what are the steps? Define K. K is the gap. And how you can define K? K is equal to gap here. And N is population. And a small N is sample. So how many unit you want? What is your population size? So when you divide total population divided by your sample, you will get the gap. So choose one random unit from first K unit and then select every K unit from there. Must remember in this type of sampling, the gap between each unit should be similar, should be unique, should be the same gap. Then the third was a stratified random sample. In this, the population is broken down into a strata and like characteristic, like men and women, old and young, middle-aged people. Efficient when differences between a strata exist and proportionate percentage of the sample from each stratum equal percent that each stratum is within the whole population. Then cluster sample, this is the fourth one. This is the fourth type of probability sample. The population is in predetermined cluster, a student in classes, apples on a trees, etc. A random sample of cluster is chosen and all or some units within the cluster is used as the sample. 